Well, I am in this hotel room, as you will have noted from other videos, or at least one other video, uh, where I have spent some time in a hotel just to reset and to have a good shower. Um, I wasn't feeling good and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, there was a lot of reasons why I checked into a hotel for two nights. And it's been really good because I've had time to think, um, time to uh, spend with my Bible and studying. And now I'm spending the afternoon uh, looking at YouTube and some episodes that I want to do. Um, just getting better prepared. YouTube has been sort of a thing where it's just been a chronology of following what I'm doing. And so I just take a bunch of videos during the week and at the end of the week I put them all together and make a video. But there's other things that I want to do with my videos and so I've had time today to think a little bit about that. And so I think I have some video ideas. Uh, things may or may not, depending on <laughs> how well my uh, thought process how logical it was and whether it's actually going to work out. But today's video is just going to be me talking, so I'm really sorry if you don't want to just hear me talking. Um, that's what it is. I'm considering this time in the hotel room a kind of a reset. It's like my second reset since I've been in the van. Yesterday was eight full weeks of living in my van, and uh, about four weeks after I got into my van, I was cat sitting. You'll see that in the previous video. Cat sitting, I still stayed in my van at night, but I was in the house during the day looking after the cat and doing whatever, having another reset anyway. So this is reset number two in this hotel. And this is only for two nights. Um, one of the things I've been thinking about is how I've been doing in my van. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to check into the hotel was because I really just wanted to have a good shower. I've had several showers since, not several, maybe three in the eight weeks um, since I started van life. I've just been keeping clean with face cloth or wipes and then having people help me wash my hair. Uh, not ideal. It works, but it's not ideal. And I think my health is suffering a little bit just because I can't keep as clean as I want to. So uh, I wanted to have a really good shower. So I did that. Um, that's one thing that's bothering me about van life is it's not easy to have a shower as a person in a wheelchair. Um, if you think it's easy to go out and find a wheelchair accessible shower, yeah, it's not. Like a lot of people buy gym memberships, but most of those showers that they have in the gyms uh, are not accessible, so I can't use them anyway. So why would I buy a bit gym membership? <laughs> not going to use it for the weightlifting, that's for sure. Although I did used to do that and I did really enjoy it, but it's not going to happen now. So uh, that's kind of where I'm at. Oh yeah, well, I mean, I've talked all along about some of the problems that I'm having with van life. And a lot of it has to do with such a small space um, and trying to live in a van that was a no build van. I didn't want to make permanent modifications to my van because it is a 2020 van and at some point I probably will want to sell it. I don't want the value of it to have gone down. Um, if I had purchased an older vehicle, I think I probably would have been quite happy to make modifications to it uh, and then maybe just drive it. Um, as my home until it fell off its wheels or whatever happened to it. But this is a newer van and I just don't want to do that. Um, I guess, uh, sorry, I'm going off track here. I wanted to mention some of the reasons why I actually did van life in the first place. And one of them was that I just, I wanted to. It just, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos um, maybe there was a romance to it and I had rose colored glasses and I actually really did have rose colored glasses, um, in regards to it because I, um, I thought I'd done all the research, figured out everything that could go wrong. And actually in that sense, there hasn't been any surprises, but I actually thought I would be able to deal with some of those problems easier and some of them, mm, not so much. So, uh, I'm still into it but I just I have a little bit more realistic view of of how it's going to be and how it is 
I wanted to travel. Um, and I'm not a super fan. Well, it's really expensive to travel by plane and go get a hotel or even to drive and get a hotel. And then on the way, if you're driving, you've got to find the washrooms that are accessible and then they're not always that clean. And it's just, it seemed to me to be the ideal answer to be able to drive, have my place I was going to sleep every night. Um, granted, I had to find a place to park every night to be able to do that. Um, and always know where my washroom was. So that uh, that was one of the big reasons for doing this. Um, I always also like being in nature. I like being out by creeks and rivers or in the forest. And I wanted to be able to uh, do that. Uh, just be able to wake up. I've said it before, wake up by a different body of water every day. That's my dream. And so far, I, I've actually had some really nice places that I've been able to camp in. Um, the, one of the other reasons I was doing van life is I was going to be moving anyways. About just over a year ago, I purchased a house with my sister. Uh, we were going to live in it together. Um, it has a suite up and a suite down, but we decided in the beginning that we're going to live in the one suite together so that we can collect the income from downstairs and build a reno fund and adapt the house a little bit better for me and make it uh, make the suite that she would move into downstairs as nice as the upstairs suite. You know how houses have a main suite that's really nice and then the other one that's the rental that's pretty basic. Well, that's what this house has and we wanted, um, obviously we both want a nice place to live. So we're gonna fix up the basement better. Um, anyways, the point is here that uh, if we're going to be living together, well, why don't I just go travel? Because we haven't lived together since we were teenagers and we're both senior citizens now. So um, I'd rather just travel and go be away and let her have the house and um, and her enjoy it until we have enough money, until we can do the renos and uh, change it up a bit. Um, one of the big reasons I wanted to do van life now was um, because I am a senior citizen. If I don't do it now, I'm in my early 60s. If I don't do this now, uh, particularly the fact that I'm in a wheelchair, uh, I expect that my health <laughs> might not stick around as long as other people's health does. I could be wrong about that, um, but I figured if I don't do this now, and I wait for who knows what, then I may never be able to do this. And so I wanted to do it. I don't want to have regrets about not doing it. And so here I am doing it. Uh, I also just, um, I think you probably have been able to gather from some things I've said in my video that God is the most important thing in my life. Uh, and the way you get to know God is through the Bible, and I wanted to um, get to know him better, so I actually really enjoy doing that kind of study, retreat type study, when I'm out in nature, um, out in the creation that God made. Uh, it, I just really enjoy that, so I wanted it to be partly about that too, and it has been, and that's been really, really good and amazing. Um, I also wanted to try re YouTube. I didn't at first, it never even occurred to me at first, but I realized when I was on YouTube looking for ideas on how to <clears throat> set up my van so that it works for me as a person in a wheelchair, there was very little information out there. And so I thought, well, it would be kind of fun to start a channel and have that information, some of the information about how I went about things and create a kind of a discussion forum <clears throat> so that uh, I can get ideas or everybody can play off the ideas of other people. Um, it just was hopefully a mutually helpful thing to start YouTube for everybody that's watching and for me as a person who's putting it out there. So after I'm doing this for five months, five and a half months from when I sold my last place until I can move in, um, the tenants that are in the house that we've purchased have a lease until the end of September. So I'll be in my van till the end of September. 
So I've got under four months left uh, for that. So I'm using that time to really evaluate, uh, am I still gonna enjoy it at the end of that time? Am I still gonna wanna do it? And if I am, do I do it in this van, which has been problematic and I'm not sure that I really would wanna do it long-term in this van. It's just too small as a person in a wheelchair um, who has struggles getting around outside and struggles with the lack of space inside. So I've really been thinking about whether I get a different van to do this. Like I love the idea of a Ram Promaster or whatever the Ford one that's equivalent to that or a Sprinter van, but they're all super expensive. And so finances would definitely be a deterrent to that. I would probably have to sell this van and this van has over $20,000 worth of modifications just so I can drive it, not so that I can live in it, but the two lifts that I have the lift to get me up to the driver's seat and the lift to pull my wheelchair in were over $20,000. I didn't pay for that. I actually did have a grant for that, but I won't be able to get that grant again. And I would still need probably even more expensive modifications outside of camperizing a vehicle. So finances are a huge uh, factor in whether I go into something bigger. Um, one of the reasons, and a reason that, well, another reason aside from the finances that would be difficult to have a bigger van is the garage um, that we have at the house that I'm moving to uh, is very small and it barely fits my minivan. Um, a larger vehicle would not fit in the garage and there is no option to park something like that on the driveway because the last part of the driveway to get into the house um, is so steep that I cannot wheel up and down it. And I've thought of all different kinds of things about how I can fix that, but it is so steep that I'm really limited in um, coming to and from that house only by driving. I have to drive into the garage to get into the house. Um, so I wouldn't be able to have a larger van and still be able to get into that house unassisted. So that's a huge problem because I still plan to live there or have it as my home base when I'm not traveling. Um, it would be really great in a larger vehicle to have a shower because of, as I've mentioned, it's not easy to find places to shower as a person in a wheelchair. Um, it would be a lot easier to cook in a bigger vehicle. Uh, there's just so many things about having a bigger vehicle that would make it so much easier that uh, maybe I wouldn't need to live in the house with my sister. Maybe she can live in it and we don't have to renovate the basement. Um, whatever, just things that I've been thinking about. So anyways, that took, wow, 13 minutes. I didn't realize it would be that long. Hopefully you're not too bored. I thank you if you made it to the end of this video and we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.